Welcome, fellow travelers in time and seekers of wisdom. My name is Ayana from the Echoes of the Past, I've journeyed to share stories of heart, of struggle, and of enduring strength. Today, with the vibrant threads of knowledge woven by four remarkable storytellers from your era, we delve into the essence of indigenous life and spirit. Amir unfolds the tale of rights and advocacy, a journey towards justice and recognition. Matthew brings to life the cultural resilience and contributions, celebrating the rich heritage and enduring wisdom of indigenous peoples. Karen navigates the profound social impacts, exploring the deep interconnections and influences on indigenous communities. And Christopher shines a light on the environmental challenges, a testament to the sacred relationship between indigenous peoples and Mother Earth. In this tapestry of stories, crafted by passionate souls of your time, we seek to bridge worlds, combining ancient wisdom with modern voices. Let's embark on this journey together, with open hearts and minds, ready to explore, learn, and honor the indomitable spirit of indigenous peoples. Before the colonization of their lands, indigenous peoples thrived with rich cultures, languages, and traditions deeply connected to the earth. The arrival of European settlers in 1492 marked the beginning of a challenging era for indigenous communities. Land dispossession, forced assimilation, and the stripping away of rights began to unfold. Throughout the centuries, indigenous peoples were compelled to sign treaties that rarely honored their sovereignty or the spirit of partnership. These documents, often misunderstood or misrepresented, led to significant loss and injustice. Yet resilience is woven into the fabric of indigenous identity. Leaders and communities have tirelessly advocated for their rights, from historical figures to the present day. A pivotal moment came in 1969 with the introduction of the White Paper by the Canadian government proposing to eliminate Indian status. The backlash was immense, uniting Indigenous peoples across Canada in a successful campaign to reject the proposal. More recently, movements like Idle No More have spotlighted Indigenous sovereignty and environmental stewardship, echoing centuries of advocacy and resistance. Today, the journey of indigenous rights and advocacy continues, rooted in the strength of ancestors and driven by the promise of a just future for coming generations. Amir has just given us a powerful glimpse into the ongoing fight for rights and advocacy, highlighting the resilience and determination of indigenous peoples in their quest for justice. His insights set the stage for an even deeper exploration of strength and identity. Now, as we shift our focus with Matthew, we are about to delve into the heart of cultural resilience and contributions, where the rich traditions and profound creativity of indigenous peoples come alive. Brace yourselves for an inspiring journey through the vibrant expressions that continue to define and empower these communities. The cultural resilience and contributions of First Nations people, the indigenous peoples of North America, are deeply woven into the fabric of the continent's history and contemporary society. Despite centuries of colonization, forced assimilation, and systemic oppression, First Nations communities have demonstrated remarkable resilience in preserving their languages, traditions, and spiritual practices. This resilience is evident in various aspects of their cultural heritage, including storytelling, art, music, and ceremonial practices, which continue to thrive despite the challenges posed by colonialism. First Nations people have made significant contributions to various fields, enriching the cultural landscape of North America and beyond. 
their profound connection to the land has fostered a deep understanding of environmental stewardship and sustainable living practices, offering invaluable wisdom in contemporary environmental challenges. Additionally, their artistic expressions, ranging from intricate beadwork and pottery to mesmerizing dances and songs, have not only preserved cultural identity but have also influenced contemporary art forms worldwide. Furthermore, their advocacy for indigenous rights and sovereignty has sparked global movements for social justice and reconciliation, inspiring solidarity among diverse communities striving for equity and inclusivity. After celebrating the cultural resilience and contributions with Matthew, we're now moving to a critical part of our journey with Karen. She'll help us understand the social impacts of contemporary challenges facing First Nations communities. Karen's analysis will reveal how these challenges affect both the community dynamics and the resilience of indigenous peoples. Let's dive into this important discussion, ready to learn and reflect. Social impacts of contemporary challenges on First Nations communities. Nestled in the core of our globe exist societies tied by ages of culture, customs, and an intimate bond with their environment. In the present day, these First Nations communities grapple with extraordinary hurdles that endanger their lifestyle, health, and the conservation of their territories. Ranging from the invasion of industrial growth to the silent crisis of climate change, these obstacles are diverse and deeply entrenched in historical inequities. The forfeit of traditional lands carries not solely economic consequences, but a significant effect on cultural identity and customs. Moreover, health inequalities persist to broaden, fueled by systemic barriers to healthcare accessibility and the results of environmental degradation. It's a plea to acknowledge, comprehend, and tackle these modern-day challenges. Jointly, we can strive towards solutions that honor the rights, customs, and future of First Nations communities. As we express our gratitude to Karen for her invaluable contributions, we now turn to Christopher. He'll expand our journey into the environmental challenges confronting indigenous lands and the sacred connection between these communities and the earth. Christopher's exploration is not just about recognizing threats, but also about appreciating the integral role of environmental stewardship in indigenous cultures. Join us as we delve into these critical issues, guided by Christopher's expertise. It is crucial to recognize the significant impact that climate change is having on the traditional ways of life of indigenous communities in Canada. These communities have lived in harmony with the land for generations and rely heavily on natural resources for their cultural practices, livelihood, and food security. However, climate change is disrupting the ecological balance of their territories and causing severe damage to their hunting, fishing, and ceremonial practices. As indigenous communities are more vulnerable to the adverse impacts of climate change due to their unique ecological and cultural circumstances, it is necessary to make efforts to safeguard their constitutionally protected rights. This can be done by addressing the impacts of climate change on their food sources, transportation methods, and access to clean water. By doing so, we can ensure that their cultural heritage and well-being are preserved for future generations. The Grassy Narrows First Nation in Ontario is facing the immediate threat of toxic waste contamination, posing serious health risks that underscore the broader environmental challenges these communities endure. Despite the adversities, community members like Chief Rudy Turtle and Judy Da Silva are actively demanding accountability from governments and industries responsible for environmental degradation and emphasize the importance of preserving their land and resources for future generations. In the face of such challenges, the Grassy Narrows First Nation exemplifies the resilience and determination of indigenous communities worldwide in confronting the intersection of environmental degradation and indigenous rights. The adverse impacts of climate change on indigenous communities in Canada are a matter of concern, and we must take urgent action to mitigate them. This includes working collaboratively with these communities to develop adaptation measures that respect their traditional knowledge and practices. By doing so, we can help them build resilience and adapt to the changing climate while protecting their rights. Some social groups, such as Honoring Indigenous Peoples, based in Toronto, make it their mission to spread the word about issues Indigenous communities face, 
while also bridging together indigenous and non-indigenous people for community well-being. As we wrap up our journey, enriched by the insights of Amir, Matthew, Karen, and Christopher, we're reminded of the resilience, struggles, and deep connections indigenous peoples have with their lands and traditions. This isn't just a conclusion, it's a beginning, an invitation to all of us to learn more, do more, and be more supportive allies to indigenous communities. Their fight for rights, cultural preservation, social justice, and environmental protection is a call to action. Thank you for being part of this journey with us. Let's carry the stories of resilience we've shared today into the future, aiming to foster a world where respect and understanding for indigenous communities thrive. Let this journey's spirit motivate us to act in support and solidarity. Together, we can contribute to a meaningful difference for indigenous peoples everywhere. <laughs>